everybody, Twisted Christian here, Julius. This is kind of the prelude to the follow-up video that I did uh, calling Vice President Kamala Harris is anointed by God. And, you know, I shouldn't have come to a shock to me because I did tell people I was getting ready to make a video that's going to irk a lot of people. It's amazing the negativity concerning what I have spoken about. Now, I don't claim to be a prophet. I don't claim to be. I'm just sharing information and what I feel like God is telling me to share. Most of you who can't see this, first of all, it's prophecy. It's the future. So there's going to be a future event, according to Prophet Charlie Shamp, that's going to deal with Kamala Harris. I don't care. What anybody says, if you don't like her, I didn't like her. Do you think that I felt comfortable making this video and putting it out there? But something is going to happen, and there's going to be a massive change, and she's involved with it when it concerns Prophet Charlie. Now, when it comes to Kim Clement, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, I don't really see the connections. Well, I'm going to be breaking things down in the next video, line by line. And then I am going to compare it to Prophet Charlie Shamp because it's very, very similar when you actually break it all down. But one of the things that you guys need to realize is that when Kim Clement prophesied about Obama, he said some good things about Obama. But also Obama was going to have to make a choice. And you know what? He made the wrong choice. And a lot of people were upset because if you look back at the Obama prophecies with Kim Clement, I mean, you got there's many people that were emailing him because they hated Obamacare and all that. He said he didn't care about all that. And if you look at all the Kim Clement prophecies, it's not about Republican or Democrat. What's getting ready to happen, it's going to change both parties. And the Republicans won't be the same party anymore because there's going to be a new party. Right. Even Mark Taylor. I, I'm not even putting Mark Taylor's prophecies in comparison. If I do that, you guys will be completely blown away. But obviously, if, if you if you don't follow Prophet Charlie, that's fine. You know, if you follow Kim Clement and you don't think that this is relate, that's fine. I'm just showing you. You can read it for yourself. Uh, I'm going to make a document that you can go through line by line. And how I present it in the video so you can see it for yourself. Because you know what? Many people listen to the video, but they didn't do the research. Most people don't do the research because if I tell you that I put the link down below in the description, and then you'll go on there, what's the link? So you guys have to pay attention to what is actually being said. And the other thing is, too, is if you look at Kim Clement's prophecies, even with Trump, he wasn't a praying man even before he went into office. So should you have been against Trump when he wasn't a praying man and now you're for him because he is a praying man? There, there was a change. He prophesied that this, uh, that Trump would be president and then uh, he would go through some kind of transition within, within himself. He's going to be making changes within himself. And this is what we're seeing here with Kamala Harris. Now, because she's on the opposite side, I don't agree with any of her politics. But there's going to be a change, a prophetic change in the future that's going to change everything. And let me tell you something. If you guys have been following Kim Clement's prophecies, you will know that the Republicans are no better than the Democrats. And it's going out there and saying, you know, I understand with this election, it was all about the push for the Republicans. And I, and, and I understood that and I went along with that. But none, none of those people are for the people. There's no economic justice concerning the Republicans. And on the extreme side, you have the Democrats who want who wants everybody dependent on the government. The established party system has not benefited the American people and it's all about politics. And it's not always about politics. If God is getting ready to make a change, if he has to change his country, he's going to use whoever he wants to use. And if there's going to be a new party, if Kim Clement is prophesying about a new party, then that means if you are a Republican and you follow Kim Clement, basically you're going to you you would be following this new party. You know, and the thing about it is, is that the Republicans betrayed the president. And I'm getting ready to show you exactly why. And it's kind of disgusting to see that, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. That's fine. You know, because it's kind of funny because it reminded me 
of Prophetess Solomon. She came out with a prophecy that Trump would not be president. She came out with a prophecy that, you know, Biden would be inaugurated. And she lost a lot of support and a lot of subscribers. And guess what? She was right. And that's that video, Vision of Elect VP Kamala and Obama and Trump. All right. I know all those things that you guys are saying about the election. You're saying about uh, the exposure and all that. I understand all that. That's part of the entire plan. But remember, Kim Clement said there's going to be two presidents. So something has to happen. So it's either going to be Trump and Biden or Trump and Kamala. And I'm getting ready to get into something here because you guys need to wake up and understand that, that the Republican Party has not been there for the people. And this election proved that. They proved it with the stimulus. Both parties proved it. One was holding it up. And then after the election, the other party was holding up. It's part of their plan. And if you don't wake up and realize that most of these Republicans are not for the people, they're not even for for their own supporters, look at them now. If you look at all the prophecies concerning the Republicans and Kim Clement, it's going to blow your mind. And we had to be shown what happened. We know what happened with the election. And they did not back the people. And they did not back the president and they did not back their party. You know, and uh, Prophet Solomon, she's prophesied a lot of different things, even Bitcoin. Uh, the Bitcoin was going to crash and uh, it's going to cause a lot of grief all around the world. And she's prophesied things about the dinar. So, yeah, we should be paying attention. That's why that's one reason why I do this channel. I try to look at everybody if I can, whoever is out there, whoever has a. Uh, a proven record because you know what one thing that people don't understand about prophecy is that is that things can change and what I mean by that is we saw it with Jonah that the prophecy of uh, the destruction of the city well there was repentance and things changed and I know there are varying types of prophetic words but even with prophet Charlie she will have to make a decision in order for that prophecy to play out, she has to she has to make that decision. But it looks like, from what I'm seeing, that she is going to make that good decision. But you guys have judged what God has already ordained through Prophet Charlie, if you believe that. I'm going to say this. There is a prophecy of Kim Clement that came to pass in 2014. Right now, it may have been reported uh, through their ministry that this that this was that this had taken place that this prophecy came to pass but this prophecy came December 31st 2013 let me show you something folks see everybody thinks that oh you're on one side and they're for you and they're not neither side are and he says here during the year 2014 I will bring an exposure that will be highly embarrassing in the political world to a degree that will force a fusion between political parties and let me tell you something folks that political party is the Republicans and Democrats and what was the exposure that happened in 2014 this is an article that came out December 31st 2014 woman who sued convicted billionaire over sex abuse level claims at his friends alright so this has to do with Epstein and what happened during that time when this lawsuit was filed it dealt with Prince Andrew, Alan Dershowitz, and a whole lot of other politicians that they've all denied it. So this came out. This was a lawsuit that was filed that exposed the politicians on both sides and they fused to fight this information to come out and to fight the one who was in office to make sure that this information didn't get out. But it's going to come out. And this lawsuit de deals with... I believe her name is Virginia Gruffy. So this happened in 2014 that has to do with Mr. E, who I've been calling Mr. E, and every now and then I'll make a video about that, but I don't get into all that because look at all those channels that talked about it every single day. They're no longer here. But it has to do with him and his affiliation with politics. During the year 2014, I will bring an exposure that will be highly embarrassing in the political world to such a degree it will force a fusion between political parties. Again, the Republicans and the Democrats. So if you think the Republicans are for you, you think that it has to be, this Esther has to be 
uh, a Republican. You think that they have to be some big spiritual, big time person? Let's move on to the next uh, prophetic word by Kim Clement. February 22nd, 2014. Watch how I change everything, for there shall be those who are in justice. There are those who are in a strong position, and I'm hearing this now. The highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, two shall sub down for the embarrassment of what shall take place, for I wish to place the highest court in the land. Boom. There we go again. Another embarrassment, but that's going to be dealing with the Supreme Court. Now, I'm going to connect in another prophecy dealing with Esther and the political party, April 13, 2012. And the voice of Esther is about to arise. The voice of Esther about to arise. In the next few years, I will raise up a party, a party that I've told you about. It shall be neither Republican or nor Democrat. And they shall be the American party. And they shall stand for what is right. Watch me. I will raise it up in this nation. God is raising up a political party that is not a Republican and not a Democrat. So if you follow Kim Clement, I wouldn't be calling yourself a Republican anymore. Okay, because they're not for you. And things are getting ready to change. And if you think that God can't use somebody like Kamala Harris, then you're absolutely wrong. And I'm sorry to say that, but it, but I'm seeing all this. And then in the next video, I'm going to show it to you guys even more. Where I'm going to get really in-depth with it. And then you guys, you know, I know it's a hard pill to swallow. But if you want what God wants, then this is what God wants. Now, you might not believe in any of the prophets. You might just be going with, you know, you don't care about modern day prophecy and all that, all those things. But for those who do follow the prophetic movement, then this is what we're going to be watching for. We're watching for this new political party. Kamala Harris is probably going to have something to do with it. We already know the former president, Trump, is going to have something to do with it. So I say all of this because of the comments and you're. And, and nobody is born virtuous. Are you born virtuous? Are you born saved? Or did you have to get saved? Right? At, what, at some point in your life, when you became an adult, you had to confess. There are people that will confess on their deathbed. There are people that will confess in the middle of their life. And there will be people that will confess in the beginning of their life. And no one is perfect. I understand her politics. But there's going to be a change that's going to come. These prophecies to me, they all came out of left field. You know, these are ones that I've read and heard and we skipped over, right? Because it didn't fit our political belief at that time. And there is an awakening happening. And if there's an awakening happening, that means it's going to happen on both sides, Republicans and Democrats. That doesn't mean, does that mean that the, the woman that Kim Clement is prophesying about, the Esther, who's pouring the oil out across the whole entire nation, and the healing to begin, they have to be a conservative and they have to be a Republican. And I'm going to show you because according to the comments and the research that I've done, right, the people have named, some people have agreed with Kamala Harris. Some people say it's Sarah Palin. Some people say that it's Candace Owens, Amy Barrett, Supreme Court Justice Amy Barrett, and even Melanie Trump. And so we're going to have to fit all those people. Now, there could be some others. I have thought of some. Some others had thought had came to mind. But these people are going to have to be in a big position of power where they're going to have to have that media influence. Right. When things change, when things start coming out and the healing has to begin. What is the healing from? The highly embarrassing moments. But I'm going to get more into that. So I say this because, you know what? I love you guys for your support. I do. And there's always going to be times that I'm going to say something that you're not going to agree with. And this whole thing, you know, this is all about studying and trying to learn and, and, and try to be prepared for the prophetic future, the events that God has and set forth. Now we're aware of a new political party that is coming. So, you know, if the God is raising that up, don't you want to be in that party? There is going to come a time, no matter how conservative you are. I'm a conservative. I have, a, I have some liberal streaks in me on certain issues, but all the people that I've ever supported in my own state during this election did not back up in the way that I thought they would. I'm done with the Republican Party. I was done with the Democratic Party back in the 1990s. This is not about politics. This is about God. This is about the, the, the prophetic words. And that also, too, 
If God didn't want any of us to see any of this because he relates a lot of these prophecies concerning this new energy that is coming forth, then he wouldn't have let us know. And that's one of the reasons why we study this. And of course, there are things that we are going to study that have nothing to do with uh, the prophecies concerning the wealth transfer. Because that's mainly what I mainly discuss in other things. So people change. And this is part of a change. And when I get done with this, uh, with this, with the follow-up video, I mean, really, you either, you either gonna believe it or not. And then when it happens, it happens. But guess what? I'm putting all this together. I, I'm figuring out the timeline because this new energy source is coming. There are other things like the X and the P. There are many other opportunities so that we can help ourselves and stop depending on politics and these and our politicians to help take care of us we need to take care of ourselves and help those who are in need because of the current political establishment is not helping people in the way that they're supposed to be I think there was even a prophecy that that it that all this is gonna affect the Republican Party a lot more it will be the Democratic Party all I'm saying folks is that you need to be prepared for some political change like Kim Clement said, we hated her, but now we love her. Charlie said she was hated, and then she became a political ally. In order for her to be a political ally, she would have to be on the other side. So this video, folks, I just wanted to prepare you a little bit. You don't have to believe everything that I say. I, I want you to do. I want all you guys to do your own research. That's why I put the links in the video. If you guys look at the video without looking at any of the links and make a judgment decision, you shouldn't do that. Always want to review the information. But because when it comes to this wealth transfer, I'm not doing this for myself. And, you know, it's kind of amazing because, you know, it's like, see all the name calling. Yet I just presented information that in the future she's going to change. There's going to be a change that comes. She's going to be on God's side. And yet you ridicule her. You call her names, you know, and you know what? May I have probably ridiculed her too. I did because of her stance on criminal justice and a few other issues. It's that time, folks, but I'm getting ready. Um, I'm working on this follow-up video because I want to make sure that I get it all right. And I want to make sure that I present the information. And, you know, many of you guys will probably hate me. That's fine. But you know what? Things are going to change and you're going to be forced to change. When, when all that stuff that comes out down the road about the whole political system and the politicians and your favorite Republicans. But I did not expect it from Republicans because they're on the list, too. They're on the flight list, too. They've been accused, too. But some of your favorite Republicans. There are women that have come out well before this last election. Years before and have named Republicans that you guys once and probably still do support. And here we are, we're at, at a moment in prophetic, in modern day prophetic history in what God is doing and the hate that has come out is unreal. Because after seeing Prophet Charlie's prophetic word, every, uh, many people had a, a negative response. But it's what God wants to do. There's nothing that you can do. You have to take that up with with God and if you think that the the Republicans are gonna be the same party they are gonna be in the in the next coming up election you got you have it all wrong things are gonna change the political fusion between both parties because of this one particular person and the things that they did the services that they purchased and if we're going to have economic justice, see, I thought the whole time that, oh, we had to have the pres this, uh, President Trump in there to get an RV. He did set a lot of things in motion. He did let set a lot of the, the, the trade deals and stuff that uh, and, and some of the prosperity things that are going to be a result of that. Kim Clement talked about that. But we also are going to have two presidents. So, folks, uh, I, I love you guys. I appreciate your support. If you don't want to support me. And what I'm saying anymore, that's fine. I'm going to continue what I'm doing and I'm going to continue to post on the wealth transfer and any opportunities that we have so that we can move God's word forward. And, you know, some of you are probably going to miss it because you've unsubscribed.
So anyways, folks, thank you for listening. God bless. And with that being said, Twisha Christian out.